Arthur Rubinov here guys. Today we're gonna talk about hair loss. A lot of guys come in and they're complaining that they're losing hair. Of course, everybody knows uh, with the stress, that's the main key and the factor that guys losing hair. The second thing is vitamins. It's very important, especially after winter time, to take vitamin B, biotin, E, and D. Also, a lot of guys don't know, every night I advise, before you guys go to sleep, to do a three to five minutes scalp massage. It helps circulation of the blood and it helps to get your follicles and your roots get stronger. Also, big advice is don't wear a hat or a cap summertime. A lot of guys ask me the question, why? What would happen if you put a plywood over the grass? Within seven days, it will dry out. That's what happens with our hair. It has to breathe. So, guys, don't wear a hat or a cap, especially summertime. So basically now we're doing a, a layer cut for a dear friend of mine, Yuri from Nano Web Design Group. We've been together since 2007 and hopefully we're gonna be together for a long time. This is the haircuts that are being lost. I like to do scissor over comb haircuts. Of course we do bus cuts as well. But like I said before, we wanna bring the 1950 styles back because I think history repeats itself. The comb, when you hold it, the main factor is the way your hands move. Especially the left, if you're a righty, your comb has to be on your left hand. And the movement, that's the most important thing. When I hire a student for a week, they practice this move. So your wrist is flexible. It's a main factor in the barber industry, how your hand moves. The right hand is just helps the left hand to cut. But most important is your left hand, how you operate with it. The layer cut can be performed from down and up, but some haircuts, when you have a lot of colleagues, I go from up, down. Like for instance here, Yuri has a colic, which you have to be careful. If you overdo it, it's gonna stick up. That's why I layer it from top to bottom, so the hair lays much better when you go against the grain. And also he likes it to be natural in the back, which we're gonna show you down the line. Well, what I'm doing right now, this is scissors over comb. And at the same time, when you cut it this way, it textures your hair. I would not recommend to use the thinning shears on you. If I use it, I use it only in a few parts where the hair is a little bit thicker. Well, I always say, uh, especially in, 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 in any profession, you have to have a plan where to start and where to finish. On certain haircuts, of course, you start, if you're cutting with a buzzer, you start it from the side or from the back. If you start with scissors, you usually start off from the top, breaking the hair in four pieces. Especially around the years, guys, you have to be gentle. Like I said in my previous videos, you have a person, not an animal, so you have to be gentle. They bring up the line too high, or they don't take enough around the years, and customers complain in about five, seven days because it starts sticking out. That's why I like to make it more tapered, 
especially around the years, because around the years, it grows the fastest. And now we're doing the banks. I try to do banks also natural, not as straight banks. A lot of people make fun. I don't want to look like dumb and dumber. The technique that I'm going to use right now is also layering. When you do it by the fingers, you're taking the length. This is layering and texturing at the same time. The hair lays down much better than you're doing just if you're doing just over the fingers. It's like getting a good shape when you do it against the grain as well. This is against the grain and the hair will lay down much better. is a little bit longer. Well, of course, the hair has to be proportional on each side. And also, interesting fact, I always say it, to check the hair when it's dry. Because when the hair is wet, you don't see the mistakes because it's all lay down but when the hair is wet I mean dry you will see the mistake which I show you after I dry it I will go over it again Well, only professional will understand what I just said about the hair being dry, which on the camera you're not gonna see some leftovers, which I'm gonna correct it now. When I see that it's dry, there's some leftovers right here, right here, which we're gonna shape it up right now with number one, especially also around the ears to take it nice and smooth on the bottom. My goal is, of course, to make a happy customer. But I get satisfied is when a customer comes back and says, I got so much compliments on your haircut. That's my accomplishment. When a customer gets compliments and of course, you have to remember the way the customer liked it. I always say it, is to understand what the customer wants and to remember how he liked it. So he'll be your customer for the rest of your life. This side, it's interesting the way it grows. It grows out. That's why I like to usually go against the grain especially when the customer is like a colic. So it smooths out and the hair lays down much better. Now we're just outlining the sideburns on the back, especially this part on the temple. You have to layer it also and taper it because this part grows out also much faster than the rest of the hair. And then the sideburns, we're gonna fade it to one and a half after I finish with the outline. So it has that smooth transition. It's also very important when you do the line, it has to be proportional on the same angle, which we're gonna show it when I finish. This technique, you have to be careful. You have to have a steady hand to do this, but it's a lifesaver when you have Freezy hair. When I just started, of course, I made a few holes. We all do it. It means we get better when we make mistakes, and we all do. The 
We're still gonna touch it up with scissors right now, I see. A little bit leftovers. As long as you guys see your mistakes and you can correct them, it's good. Sometimes barbers, they just cut and they don't see their own mistakes. Now, this is the two lines that I was talking about, the same angle. And now we can adjust the small line, not, you know, that harsh line. Because I said, you relax it natural. So I'm gonna try to make it more naturalish. But before I do it, I gotta put a small invisible line. We want Yuri to get compliments. That's my goal. Again, small touch-ups. As you see, guys, I do this on a dry hair. And now we're just gonna do a touch up on the bottom with one and a half, just on the sideburns. So they don't get bushy right away. And you have to be also careful is not to put the whole back, because if you do this and go up, you're gonna end up seeing a hole. So that's why you have to be gentle and to bring this in 90 degree position. So you have a nice smooth transition. At the same time, you don't see the skin and the sideburn is there and it's thin. Now the back, we're not gonna tape it with one and a half. We're gonna do this freehand, a freestyle. And no lines, we have no leftovers. All nice blended. It's also a small trick, is when you do the outline, and you check, line looks straight, everything is beautiful, but when you have the cape on and it's closed, the skin stretches in. When you open it up, you have to check again because the skin loses it up and sometimes the line and the outline is not straight just because you have the cape on. So I always do the checkup after I open the cape and you do have a little left over right here. And again, especially with this buzzer, you have to be gentle because it's, it's sharp and it can cut the, the skin. So I like to feel the skin and not overdo it. And Yuri can go on a date tonight with his wife. He looks handsome. we're gonna put some living conditioner. I do recommend to do uh, living conditioner, especially after winter time because the hair gets dry. Our products, people ask why are you different than any other products? Well, first of all, it's family owned and we are free of heart detergents, free of parabens, sodium chloride, and of course, alcohol important what we put on our skin guys because it's the biggest organ in the human's body and if you like gel we're gonna use our medium old gel 